Good morning and welcome. This is Chacha, the show where opinion counts, live on Citizen TV. I'm your host, Udwa Kamimo. Now, two weeks before the general election and everyone from the candidates to the security services, to the IBC, to the media is in overdrive, working to win votes and the confidence of the public. The week started with a High Court ruling upholding the flexibility and timing the Constitution grants the IBC to announce election results. There was the final presidential debate. And this morning, a security briefing is expected to take place. Well, today's guests have possibly strong opinions on this issue. They are Dr. Peter Kagwanja, the Chief Executive uh, Officer of the Africa Policy Institute and a former government advisor. We also have with us Dr. Wendy Njoya, the head of the Language and Arts Department at Daystar University. Uh, our panelists, um, as always, Mutegin Jiao and Charles Odiambo, both of Royal Media Services, will also be sharing their opinions with us. So good morning and welcome to the show. So lots happening um, two weeks before the election. I think it's exactly um, two weeks. Actually, it's less than two weeks. L less than two one week and five days. Yeah. One week and five days. Mm. Okay, um, I approximated <laughs> up. Um, but um, what, uh, Dr. Kajgwanja, if I start with you, what was the highlight of the week for you? Uh, I, th I think this, the highlight uh, was uh, the, pres the, the presidential debate that never was. Presidential debate that never was. Okay. Mm -hmm. It never was. Uh, there was a presidential debate. Well, it was never a debate. It was a monologue. Uh, that's one. I think also the... That's the compared to the three. The court ruling. The court ruling. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, that that occurred. I, I mean, I'm just highlighting okay. what, what, what I think uh, the, the things that uh, are there. So the, the, the yeah the the, the court rulings, uh, a series of them actually, not one, not two, or quite a number that discourage uh, set the path to the, yeah, yeah. to the to the election, yeah. uh, which meant that uh, the uncertainty that seemed to have crowded the uh, the eighth uh, of August date as the day when the election uh, mm -hmm. was to take place was basically removed. And uh, I think uh, the debate is now shifting to other issues. Uh, as we were saying, the, the, the security issue is now, uh, you know, the security of the election is being Dr. Njoya, your highlights of the week. Um, I think it was also the debate, except that, um, okay, quote unquote debate, except that I felt um, it was just a performance. <coughs> it didn't really uh, enlighten us in any way. So it's like we're just going into the election, you know, just the way we were before. Yeah. So it was disappointing for me. But I think it was interesting just to see um, has Kenya really matured in terms of how we talk about politics. And I think there's a, a glimmer of hope, but it still wasn't good enough for mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Panelists, your highlights, Otegi. Well, to me, the main thing was that debate, which you said it wasn't a debate, but well, that was Dr. That, that was that was that was our debate for the for the previous week for the running mate, the running mate which one young man excelled. Then there was the the deputy, which which took place before <coughs> the main one for the two, uh, which <coughs> which was described as a monologue. To me, debates are very important. Uh, the fact You've that already gone into debates, as opposed to your yes. highlights of the week. Okay. <coughs> the, uh, it, it, it's important to mention this. There was in the social media a list of the people who owned that company. I don't know whether it's real or whether it's fake news, <laughs> but it indicated that um, the reason why Jubilee did not go is because it was a, a, a national ODM outfit. The company is that true or not true? That to me was an issue. That's an issue. Look, we'll, we'll discuss the, the debate substantively, but let's just... For me, the, your highlights. My highlight of the week is the optimism among Kenyans. Uh, the Uhuru Kenyatta campaign team said over and over again that he will not be attending. But Kenyans, until 30 minutes into the debate, were still expecting him. I, I like the optimism. I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't want to agree with you because the organizers continuously advertised that... The, 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 the president and the former prime minister will be there. Despite the fact that the president had said he won't go. But Mutegi, who is Uhuru Kenyatta? Is it the organizers or is it Uhuru Kenyatta himself? But okay. if, I, if I say I'm not coming, why should you as an organizer make people believe that I will come? Mm. Why are they advertising he's coming and he and said he won't come? Mm. I, I think there's a, there's a more substantive issue here. The question is, 
why did all the presidential candidates uh, voluntarily and without issues attend the 2013 uh, presidential debate? And why was uh, 2017 debate so acrimonious? I, I think that's where we should ask. Because as, uh, as Kenyans, there's something that we must admit. Presidential debates are integral to democracy anywhere in the world. You can never uh, avoid them because people want to see how is President Kenyatta and President and the former Prime Minister Uhuru, Ken Uhuru I mean sorry, Raila Odinga, going to deal with each other because one is going to be the leader of the opposition, the other one is going to be the, but the leader. But this assumes that we live, we exist in a duopoly. Yes. And I think the feeling of the other six candidates is that we don't. Mm -hmm. And the feeling of um, lots of other Kenyans is that they may be the front runners according to opinion polls which are in themselves questioned mm. um, but let's if people have the ambition to um, offer themselves up to uh, um, for um, presidential contest let's give them a hearing a fair hearing yeah the point is this if you read our constitution critically we have a duality of, uh, of systems uh, the constitution divide our, car our election cycle into two the time to govern when you are in the office. Within that time, we have a duality, opposition and government, and both are remunerated, and they are recognized by the Constitution. And until now, that, uh, election takes place, but when the we election, don't have... But when the election comes, we become a multi-party state. Every state, every party becomes important during election. Now, so I think the point you are making, and I would agree with that, is that in the restructuring of this debate, we should have taken into consideration that constitutional reality of our country that during elections all candidates are equal. And therefore, uh, uh, taking into account things that unite us and things that div divide us, it would have been logical for me if I was in that team organizing and would have had a wonderful debate. Put Uhuru Kenyatta, possibly leader, it's hypothetical, Dida, uh, Jirongo, and possibly Kaluyu. And on the other side, on the other side, put Laira Odinga with the Nyaga, uh, with uh, Wainaina, and the others, and let's debate. What would inform the, that? The, I'm, I'm, the issue is, outside that framework which I've talked about, the rest is part of the grad gradiators kind of what you want the Odingas and the Kenyatas, and you know the history and how it is. You know the history if you are a, a serious Kenyan. From the 60s, the elder Kenyatta and the elder Odingas had it, to go to the videos. The, in, the, in the 70s, 80s, 90s and now, we want in the 21st century to see the Kenyatta's and the Odinga's there on the screen going for each other's throat. What kind of a history are we creating for our children? Mm -hmm. So if we had an opportunity to consolidate <coughs> democracy and at the same time avoid the problems of our history, because we know them. Dr. Njai, what do you think? I, I actually don't see the point of debates. Let me just put it there and I and I even checked who owns the debate media if it's the same one as the US you see it, it, it's based on a dual system that there have to be two guys talking to each other but now that the court said that it's unconstitutional not to include all the candidates then we are forced to have eight people or four four on the stage and I don't think that helps the debate for because you don't get to really examine the issues in depth so you have all these people just saying sound bites one by one and after the debate is over you don't feel that you have really got anything Interrated from the issues. debate. But you responded to Mutegi's um, point about the ownership of the debates. You yes. said that you looked into it and what did you find? I found that, okay, they called it the debate media company and it's owned by a U.S. A US uh, institute that's allied to the Democratic Party, that's what I found out. And and um, and I think it's funded by the U.S. government. You're talking about the U.S. President, the, the Presidential Debates Commission. No, no it's called Kenya. the Media Debates. The Are you talking about Kenya or Kenya. I don't know because when I googled it, I found that this company, the U.S. company, sponsors debates in okay. many countries. Sorry, let me let me help you out there because I think yeah. you're mixing up issues because um, Mutegi mm. raised concerns about. Uh, something circulating in social in media, the social media the purporting uh, to show they are, they that um, the owners and yeah. of course the directors of the company, directors of the company. and the, all of them are affiliated to ODM or NASA. 
And in fact, that's and what that, I'm saying. Yes. I don't think it's true. It is not because true. when I Google yeah. the debates media company, even the Kenyan election appears on that website. Okay. Um, so let me just uh, clarify because I actually have the information here. Mm -hmm. So in the U.S. system, you're quite right. Um, it's owned by a nonpartisan group. Mm -hmm. And in, in the, 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 the history of debates is similar to ours in that I think they began in the, sometime in the 60s and um, then um, for a couple of um, uh, 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 election years they weren't held due to acrimony, suspicion and so um, both parties saw the benefit of having the debates and came together mm -hmm. and created um, a presidential debates commission which is nonpartisan and which is not funded by the US government. Um, in, at the beginning the, um, uh, the uh, uh, um, chair people of the debates were each drawn from the um, Republican and Democratic Party which of course goes to, uh, speaks to the evolution of um, the political parties in the US. Over time um, um, the board of directors has expanded to include um, people, um, uh, you know, distinguished Americans who are not paid to serve on that committee. So let's just um, put that out there um, for the Kenyan debate. Uh, and I'm the I'm point you're making, Mutegi, mm -hmm. is a thing that is circulating in um, um, uh, social sure. media purporting to show the chairman of this company, Royal Media Services, Kathleen Openda, Jimmy Wanjigi, um, and I, I, I don't remember who the fourth person... Yes, and yeah. um, by Abuba. some lawyers, mm. um, it's fake. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's fake. I think to, to the extent of, uh, of your explanation, therefore, we need to give this arrangement an opportunity to grow. Look at the history mm. of the American system. It started from somewhere. They had their missteps. They had their misgivings. They had their, their no-shows. And ultimately, today, we have something to look up to when they have this debate. So I think we should by all means let this thing grow let's make yes. mistakes and, and that's my dispute because the american system is not a model it's a two horse race mm. and even americans are complaining about it you know the ralph naders we never got to hear them because it's always de democrat and republican so we don't at least i don't want that system and so we really need to think of our own you know our own platform mm. for having these kinds of discussions but i don't think the american model works for us. What would work for you because you called it a performance yeah. that delivered nothing in terms of understanding, um, further understanding to the electorate. So w what were you seeing as a performance? Um, it actually it's what Dr. Kagwanja was saying that you know you want to see the two principles slugging it out. It's like a, a boxing ring which is cathartic for us mm. because you know usually they are talking against each other. One is in in uh, sort of maybe somebody is in Garissa and the other one is in, in uh, let's say Matuga and they are shouting at each other and it's the media who is, which is moderating this conversation mm. so it is cathartic for Kenyans to see the two principals on stage throwing words at each other but not getting to mm. boxing although it would be nice I mm. think if they could beat each other up yeah. physically <laughs> yeah. and then we'd be happy well, we'd we'd be be nice. Because we would be happy and we would watch the match and pay for it just the way we watch wrestlers. Yeah. Because that's what Kenyans want from this debate. They want catharsis. Yeah. They want to feel, especially when you look at the way the journalists ask the questions, it's sort of like putting politicians on the spot. It's very nice. Yeah. It's Le very nice to see uh, aw awkwardness. It's nice to see Raila awkward. It would be nice to see Uhuru awkward, and uh, that's probably why he avoided it. Are you talking about the um, party? Just a minute. That, yeah. I, I think you, you seem to be making a point that um, these people, we see them in helicopters mm -hmm. and flanked by bodyguards. Yeah. And for once, we get to see them stripped of all of that yes. and having to think on their feet, mm -hmm. having to slug it out and being made to feel uncomfortable. That's the yes. catharsis you're yes. referring to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, po I posted something uh, in, in my Facebook uh, about uh, the psychology that is driving this debate. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, have, I thought about why is there so much rancor that Uhuru Kenyatta did not show up? What are Kenyans lacking? And, and in the debate, I do not see anybody uh, saying anything about what they missed, except that they missed Kenyatta. Uh, you know, we miss, he should have been there. He should have been. That was the point. And I, I, I interpreted that, that the, the public psychology in Kenya 
about these things is the gradatory or grad, uh, gradiator kind of mm. ancient Roman uh, thinking where you want to see two people basically fighting and bleeding each other and mm -hmm. eventually <coughs> ending up in that uh, kind of You're both thing. making that point. Let me come to uh, the actually, candidate. Actually, that is more like what Kenyans want to see because what they have been subjected to is like uh, Dr. Wandia said, one person in Garissa, the other person in Matuga, throwing barbs and bouquets at each other. Whenever they meet at funerals, yeah. it is yeah. my brother, my brother. Yeah. So why don't we put them there? Why don't we give together. them the uncomfortable <laughs> questions? Mm -hmm. Let them ask each other these questions they normally throw from a No, but yeah. Yeah. let me come to you because you, um, uh, both our guests um, are arguing that we want to see um, uh, the, you know, the principal the main candidates as it were going after each other. Is there not a case that there are people who are fed up of these main candidates and want to hear from any alternative um, voices and leaders and isn't there a case to be made for um, the fact that you have one opportunity to demonstrate the fact that you recognize um, voters as your employers. Look, okay? we, it, it, I think it was a, a, a letdown, the fact that uh, the president did not show up. In fact, I take great exception to argument by this campaign that uh, since the president, why well, should he demand himself? Morata was arguing last night. Why should they go up here there in front of, of being asked, asked questions by journalists? And, and uh, he is the president. The other fellows are looking for jobs. Therefore, they are the ones who should go up here there. To me, that is self-defeating. He should have been there to, to be asked to account. Well, the, the but you made the point, or someone made the point, that he had always said he was not going to go. Which was wrong. And okay, and, and the politicians reason. generally, and the politicians generally, whether it was um, uh, the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, you know, the Jubilee side, um, Ekuru Court, all of them had problems, and you referred to this, Dr. Kagwanja, in the, in the beginning, that the, the politicians had issues. Actually, the issues the played out during the first presidential debate. The, first which the one which was scheduled the for the 10th. Yes, the the argument, no, 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 the argument between Ekuru Court and uh, uh, Dr. Kaluuya, yeah. when they were accusing each other of having shortchanged the other, we agreed we don't do this as all candidates, you did this. The, mm. the difference is played mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So th the point, th the point we, we, we actually need to emphasize here uh, is that the, the presidential debate is important. Uh, but this, what this debate is raising is about the neutrality, the impartiality, the management of it. and the management of it. Yeah. And that's why we are going to 2013 and asking, did we do, is there something we did right there which we need to carry forward in terms of constructing this institution of democracy? Now, what Dr. Wandia is raising is that, uh, yes, we have a role model in the, uh, um, the Commission on Presidential Debate in the she U.S. She refused to we have, that as a role but it model. has shortcomings, yeah. that, that's what, what she's saying. Mm. The, the, it has shortcomings in the sense that it's not inclusive mm. in terms of all the candidates. Now, moving to the future, we need to look at how have we restructured our own institutions as a country and what have we taken into account. We have independent commissions here, the Gender and Queer Commission, we have uh, you know, the National, the national Commission. commission. Yeah. Now, why has it become so difficult for us to set up a National Commission on Presidential Debate? Yeah. Because we are going to be with this forever. So that we don't have private interests coming up with an initiative which is rejected on account of which you verify a president on the account of not attending a privately organized event. I'll tell you why we but don't have that kind yeah, of commission, because yeah. of lack of trust and perception in it's Kenya. Sure, Look at NCIC, the yeah. Kaparo Commission. Yeah. What do people say whenever they take action? You are pro-the government. Mm -hmm. So if you have this debate commission, a constitutional commission, somehow it's still made up of Kenyans and we have perception. But listen to what the Jubilee side asked for in this debate. They wanted BBC, War Warungu, and the other lady to come and be the people asking questions. Because we don't but trust our own. Because we don't trust our own. Or it, it, in, the, in the context of the organization, in the context of the organization, they didn't trust. When Woodwork and other colleagues uh, came in, in 2013, they, that issue never showed up. Although me, what I would like to see is not an organized, you know, just one site presidential debate. And this is something I said when I was talking about the artists. Every sector should organize a pre presidential debate. 
can we have artists come together and put questions to the candidates what are you going to do for the arts what are you going to do for the mu for music these are the issues we have then you have another one for doctors and nurses they say these are the issues in healthcare tell us what you're going to do about this thing and like I, in fact I wish if we are using Americans as a model I wish nurses and the teachers and the lecturers would do what the American teachers unions do. They call the presidential candidates and ask them, what are you going to do for education? We need these kinds of sectorial debates where mm -hmm. we put the candidates on spot. But then these presidential debates where you, you expect somebody to address very complex questions in one minute and then you give rebuttals, that doesn't work. And I think that is not helping our political culture because the Kenyans are not understanding what are the issues at stake. They are just looking, let's see if Raila is going to manage this one. Let's see if uh, uh, Ekuru is going to manage this one. But that's not the point. The point is for us to understand what the issues are and how these candidates deal with them and so that we can judge them on that basis. Uh, Dr. Kagwanja, thank you for um, um, referring to the 2013 uh, debates. I did moderate those. Um, and with this one, I chose to sit it out and ask that my um, slot be given to younger journalists. Um, so um, that was uh, me done. I don't think that um, anyone. Why? Sorry? Why? Um, that's <laughs> as much as I'll, I'll say, <laughs> um, given that I'm here to ask you questions and you're here to respond to them. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Let me get up from what uh, Dr. Andrea is saying just before we move on. Uh, th oh, um, description of an ideal debate is really that, yeah. an ideal debate. But you see, in my opinion, Kenyans ha have so many issues that they want all addressed more or less at the same time. And, and, and so, if we were to go that way, maybe with time, even the acrimony would go down because they would be addressing particular issues in smaller forums mm -hmm. and we'll be getting value for our time uh, as, as voters. I mean, like the media has been making money from um, farming, you know, the farming segment for Saturdays. So they've seen there's a niche in that. So why don't we have a debate on farm, or with farmers on as an audience and have <coughs> agriculture and the journalists address those questions? It would be very interesting because then we can see in depth what are the issues. But you know, asking one one question and in, incidentally, in these debates, those key issues, those key sectors were not discussed. We're just talking the big, sorry to use the word, sexy topics like corruption, um, integration, integration. Yeah. But, but you know the, the bread and butter issues for Wanainchi are not featuring in these debates. But in the absence of those, this other one which was organized which didn't work. Why did it not work? It, me, to me, my, my view is that it's all a question of ego. In the first, the first one which was for the running mate, there's ego. They didn't come. The only one guy came. There's, there's the next one also, the one for the, uh, 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 the president. Even the other didn't come. Apart from Uhuru, it's, it's not only Uhuru didn't come. But Mutegi, could that argument not be flipped to say that even within the media, we had egos at play? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying, yeah. Yeah. Because ego. you're saying ego, yeah. you're accusing the candidates of no, no, ego. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about uh, all of us. All of us. Yeah. All of us. It's, it's a question of ego. Who, who is who? That, to me, is the one that ruined. The person who should be most egocentric in all this equation is the voter, in my opinion, so that they really make a choice of what they want. But you can see on social media that the debates Kenya hashtag <coughs> is still trending two days after the debate. Really, actually. And Geopol released the um, um, oh, um, a countdown on the audience. It was a big audience, 9.6 million at the highest. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but... Okay, if you say that the uh, voter should be the most egocentric, can you not therefore understand why voters felt let down by the absence of the candidates, particularly the president? Mm. Uh, I think the, the, the point that we should really be uh, focusing on uh, is whether as Kenyans we are conscious of sensitivities that surround issues that in which we are making choices. Because we should not assume that we are a, a natural typical society where things just go you invite me for your wedding and there I am you invite me for, to your church wedding and here I am uh, I'm a Catholic I want to see whether when you invite me into ACK you have taken into account all the sensitivities that go with me being a Catholic uh, and, and therefore I think 
what went wrong or Ole in this particular issue organization of this debate and why I keep on referring to the 2013 which was more difficult in terms of the context than this one is that we did not pay attention to the sensitivities of our time. If you look at the general political terrain in which we are now uh, working on, there are a lot of conspiracies. There is of course a lot of post-truth uh, debates, you know, uh, or so-called alternative facts. Such as this one? Like, like the one you have just mentioned about who are the organizers, mm -hmm. uh, who, who, who are the owners of this company, uh, and so on. <coughs> the, the, the Jubilee <coughs> and others would like to push this and uh, the media would like to push this more uh, non-partisan, impartial you know, company that carries the interests of Kenyans. But is that how they are perceived from the other side? Now, if we ask those questions and paid attention to the sensitivities that were Kenyans, we would have naturally come up with a more conducive environment in which I think uh, President Kenyatta would have found it very compelling like he did in 2013 to show up in this debate. In but 2013 he, he had no option. He, he didn't had to attend. find it compelling because I remember he was upset about being asked about his family land. And no, I no, hear no, 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 that, that you're mixing things up. That we asked that question in the second debate. He was uh, upset about being asked about the ICC in oh, yeah. the, uh, yeah. the ICC debate. Yeah. The elephant yeah. in yeah. the room. Yeah. Yes. And then, um, you know, sympathizers um, um, placed an article in the papers referring to other elephants belonging to other candidates. And right until the last minute, we were not sure whether he would he show up. Would show up. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this time, he didn't uh, show up. So look, in terms of solutions what, um, going forward, what I'm hearing from, from all of you is, you know, take into account the, you know, the sensitivities. Um, you know, start early. I don't um, know whether what he's calling sensitivity. Me, I think it's ego. It's, 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 it's ego. People ego. Ego. It's not ego. I, I mean, if. An, 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 an event is organized by a private entity yes. whose background I'm curious about. I mean, I mean, why do we choose to be members of Mudaiga Club and not Karen Club? Why do we choose to be in Eldred Club and not Mobasa Club? It's because we don't think the company that is in that, those clubs is what we want to be in. Those are choices you make. Uh, uh, Therefore, the uh, yeah. example that you yeah, 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 but yeah. So, so in, in, in yeah. this case, for, this, for the organizers to assume that they hold a higher moral pedestal that should compel people to come to their private event, I, I thought that was very pretentious. What should have been the case in, the, in order to make this bit, is a more inclusive di discussion of, uh, beforehand? And what we should be hearing is that we met with President Kenyatta this time and he promised us he's coming. <coughs> he called us in this time and said that he has these uh, misgivings about not coming. And we addressed them. Now, finally, he did not show up, irrespective of all the efforts we made to have him. Then we don't have that kind of a script. The idea is that, President Kenyatta, you have to show up or you are damned. I mean, that kind of a command... Is, is, is there a problem uh, I with you. Yeah, yeah, and particularly but, because... Yeah that advertisement yeah. the fact that you said many 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 days ago that you will not come and up to the last minute they were advertising this debate will come there's a president yeah. that, that, that to me that was pretentious does that, does that speak to um, a more fractious relationship between the political class and the media um, because what you're seeing now say for instance in the US which we have referenced quite a bit in this conversation about debates and President Trump and the media, fake news, fake media, mm. fake media conspiring against me, sad. Um, are we seeing that? Because that's the sort of um, thing that you're beginning to see on social media around. Not even that. Even the president himself yesterday said that the media is against him. Yeah. But it's quite yeah. interesting because yeah. remember one of the very first engagements of State House after being sworn in as president was well, a breakfast the yeah. president yeah. had yeah. with yeah. the editors and Mutegi Njau was there. I wonder yeah. what yeah. people were told. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, I, I was there. I, 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 a breakfast show there. Woodwork, I, I don't think, and, and I'm speaking because I, you know, I, I, I may have one or two inside. You're the a former budget. government yeah, advisor. Yeah, yeah, and Presumably uh, you still have access to State House. And no, the government lives in my house. The government. <laughs> 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 Oh, on a writer note, okay. let me put it this way: I don't think, I don't think that the president has any, uh, you know, uh, difference, personal or otherwise, with the media and the personalities. Why? Look at the team that is p pushing his campaign. It's made of very renowned journalists, Alex Chamwanda and others. These are media uh, pillars. 
uh, he, he has that. And as you were saying, well, former, he, media he, he, uh, yeah, people yeah, former, yeah. former media people. How, no, the how, how would that be? The Remember the statement about Look, Magazeti Niyaku? Look, we have to take a... You, you know what? No, no. no, no. Let, let, let's do Magazeti after the break because <laughs> we have to take a break now. This is Cheche and we're live on Citizen TV. Our SMS number is 22422 and you can reach us on Twitter using the hashtag Cheche.